Over the last 15 years or so in Maryland, um, there's been a significant push to move towards more renewable sources of, of energy at a state level. The first step of that was reducing the state's greenhouse gas emissions from 2006 levels by 40% or greater by 2030. We got the brilliant idea of starting a solar panel program because we already installed solar PV systems um, on five MDOT properties. Since those projects were so successful, we thought that we should take a bigger look uh, at all of our properties. MDOT owns a lot of property. It serves a critical transportation function, but we thought, you know, it could also serve to generate clean energy. So we, we conducted a feasibility study, and so that's how we kind of convinced our leadership that it, it was a worthwhile project, both environmentally uh, and economically. That's when we decided to go down the path of uh, creating a master RFP, master contract, which um, will allow us to install you know, solar PV systems ac across the state on our properties. From the standpoint of how do you set up a master services agreement and how do you write it in such a way that allows um, other entities beyond um, MDOT to use it, that was also something that was a first for us. So um, it was kind of, it was a learning process for everybody. The master contract is also, it also has cooperative language. So MDOT, of course, we're gonna be using it, but it's also open to all other state agencies, municipalities and nonprofits to use it. Under TR9, we have performance measure 9.3C, which is reducing our energy consumption, and 9.3D, which is to generate more renewable energy. We use uh, almost 400,000 megawatt hours per year, which is quite a bit of energy, and that costs us anywhere between 35 and $40 million annually. So reducing our environmental footprint and getting energy at a lower rate and also providing a, a, a service to the public. We're generating the clean energy, but we're also providing shade. In the summer, you know, the cars aren't so hot. In the winter, it's protected from snow and rain. So um, it's just a win-win. Given the growth in the Maryland Department of Transportation, there's still a need for additional electric resources. We have dozens and dozens of potential facilities that we may be able to put solar on in the future. We're also gonna be able to look at some other innovative um, uses of solar as that technology advances. We are being asked by the, the community at large, um, and including a lot of environmental advocacy groups, um, to look to see what we can do to reduce our carbon footprint, which um, contributes to greenhouse gases. It's critically important for us to start to look at clean sources of energy at a state level. It's a renewable energy system. It has no emissions, no water use to keep things cool. So very low, low environmental impact. It's, it's something that is a first, and I'm really proud of our, our office, and I'm proud of MDOT for taking this step. It makes Maryland a better place to live. <laughs>